We all have to work up the belief and the, the, the confidence in ourselves. You know, I look at myself, I'm very confident, very confident in my ability to lead. I'm very confident in my ability to build businesses, but I can't cook to save my life. That is something that for most people would be like, yo, cooking, I love cooking. For me, for prayers, that is the most intimidating thing ever. I cannot boil you an egg. But if I wanted to start cooking, you can best believe I wouldn't go at it starting trying to cook Thanksgiving dinner. So I was talking to this gentleman the other day and he was telling me how he and his wife had recently broke up. He had to move out of the family home and now he was in search of an apartment. And you know, the more he spoke, the more emotional he had become, right down to the point where he was crying and his voice was trembling. And you know, me, I'm sympathetic. He, he lost his family, he's not gonna be with his kids anymore. But that was only one part of it. There was this whole other area that caught me so off guard because he had zero confidence, zero belief in his ability to run a new household. And what I mean by that is not, you know, get a new family. He just had no experience in going out, finding an apartment, paying his bills, all of that kind of stuff. So I asked him, I said, well, you know, you've been doing it all your whole life. You, you are a hardworking individual. This is a man, just to put it in context, this man works every day of the week. This is not somebody who's some deadbeat and just sitting around. But he explained to me, look, I went out, I made the money. I would bring my check back to my wife and she was the one that, you know, made the budget up. She was the one that made sure bills were taken care of each um each month, made sure that the kids were taken care of, food was on the table, so forth and so on. So something that for most people, for most people would seem, you know, kind of ABC, for this guy who in every other area of his life was such a, a go-getter and so confident in this particular area because he had no experience, he was frightened and he had no belief in himself and didn't think he can do it. And it got me to thinking about those two words, confidence and belief. Because what seems so achievable and so doable to some people, things that are just common, everyday thing. To some people, if you do it every day, to other people, they have absolutely no confidence or belief in themselves to get it done. And it's one of those things, right? Because it's like a chicken or the egg type thing. Do you not have belief in yourself because you lack confidence? Or is it you lack confidence because you don't believe? And then there's another word that kind of comes to mind, which is worthy. So many times we all don't feel worthy. We don't feel worthy of increase. We don't feel worthy of gain. We don't feel worthy of more. We think that things happen to other people, but not for us. We're just not worthy. And I would ask you guys, because I know so many speakers like myself, you guys all heard it. Go out there. You got to jump. You just got to throw caution to the wind. You got to break those chains of bondage. You just got to go and jump. And you guys have heard me say countless times. I don't believe, you know, now granted, there are some alpha individuals out there. There are some people with some big cojones. And yes, sometimes you need to be pushed and, and, and jump so that you know that your wings do work and you can make it, you will start to fly and then soar. But for other people, for most people that I've learned, it starts with small incremental steps. That's how you work up your confidence. That's how you start to believe. That's how you start to feel worthy and understand, you know what? I, I was scared of the boogie monster. Like, like I can actually do this. Just because you've never done, you know, anything that we've never done, 
it can seem intimidating. It can seem like, you know what? I, I know he can do it or she can do it, but I could never do that. Take the small steps toward it. Whatever your goal is, I don't care if it's in business, it's in career, if it's in your personal life, take the small steps towards your goal. And please, I, I really believe this. I think that so many people, they talk themselves right out of going toward whatever it is that they want to go after because they look at the end result. You know, how many times have we been to the doctor and the doctor tell you, oh, you got to lose 25 pounds. Lose 25 pounds? That, like, that seems... I, I can't lose 25 pounds or God forbid if you've been dealing with weight issues your entire life and you got to lose something that sounds, you know, astronomical. I got to lose 100, 150 pounds. It's like, what? That's impossible. I'll never get it done. But if you take a different pro uh, approach, change your perspective on things and say, you know what? I'm just going to take small steps. I'm going to cut back on my carbs. I didn't say cut out carbs. I'm going to start by cutting back on the carbs. I'm going to start by cutting back on sugars. I'm going to, you know, the sweets, I won't take it completely out my diet, but I'm just going to start cutting back on them. Maybe I can't just go to the gym and start working out right away. But what I can do is start walking around the neighborhood. And I'm just going to do it three times a week. Maybe I'll start just walking around the block. Then I'll go and start walking down the trail. And you start to look at that scale. And after a while, you realize like, whoa, I'm down five pounds. You know, I just made some incremental changes, but the weight dropped. Let me make a few more changes. Whoa, I'm down 15 pounds. And you're on your way. But if you start by looking at that mountain that you want to climb, that, yes, have that as your overall goal. But if you start by looking at the top, you will never start to begin with. We all have to work up the belief and the, the, the confidence in ourselves. You know, I look at myself. I'm very confident, very confident in my ability to lead. I'm very confident in my ability to build businesses, but I can't cook to save my life. That is something that for most people would be like, yo, cooking, I love cooking. For me, for prayers, that is the most intimidating thing ever. I cannot boil you an egg. But if I wanted to start cooking, you can best believe I wouldn't go at it starting trying to cook Thanksgiving dinner. I would be just, it would be just too intimidating. I would never even begin. It would be like, good luck. I'll just order out. But maybe start by making breakfast. You know, if I had to start, that's where I'd start. Breakfast is easy enough. And I work my way up from there. Because then that mountain, that thing that seems like it is insurmountable. I'm breaking it down into little pieces. They're bite-sized pieces now. Now I can do it. I learned how to cook breakfast. I can cook lunch. I'm going to work my way up to Sunday dinner, so forth and so on. So I'm asking you guys, please don't look in the rear view mirror. Stop looking backwards. God blessed us with this memory. But that memory, as much as a, it is a blessing, it's also a curse because your memory shows you what you are capable of up until this point. It shows you what your life has amounted to up until now. You have to put those blinders on your eyes and look this way. Look this way. I didn't say look all the way to your goal. Look this way and you take that one step at a time. Don't worry about what happened yesterday? Yesterday is gone. It is dead. It is never returning. Don't worry if you've never made one single goal that you've ever set in the past. That's yesterday. Today, it's a new chapter. It's a new beginning. And start by taking small incremental steps towards your goals. Work up your confidence. Work up your belief. And trust me, you are worthy. Peace and love, guys. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all in the next video.
What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.